The Wabash Valley Football Coaches Association hosted their 11th annual All-Star Game this evening, giving seniors one last chance to put on the pads and battle it out on the gridiron. With Coach Brian Crabtree of North Vermilion and Coach Tim Heron of Terre Haute South, the Gold Division and Black Division met at Memorial Stadium to duke it out. Beautiful evening for some football. Black team taking on the gold team. Team Gold strikes first with a field goal, but Terre Haute South's Timmy Heron knows how to get the ball downfield. Great run here by South Putnam's Lucas Warrior. Team Black gaining, gaining great field position, and we've seen him do this countless times in the season. If he doesn't like what he sees, he'll take it himself. Timmy Heron looking like Johnny Manziel juking out the defense and gaining 26 yards on the play. Black threatening to score, but Gold's Chase Nickel takes Heron down with a sack. Team Gold still leads 3-0. But can they score again? South Vermillion's Jordan Brands with quarterback duties for Team Gold. Beautiful pass down the field to Rockville's Keontre Wilkie. You couldn't script that play any better, and Gold takes a 10-0 lead. Heading out to the second quarter, North Vermillion's head coach Brian Crabtree said earlier this week what makes wide receiver Ethan Lee so special? His speed, which he shows on this play, weaving his way through the gaps for the touchdown. Gold dominates 17-0 early. But Team Black will not go down without a fight. Monte Wolke throws an absolute bomb downfield, showing his arm strike. Terre Haute South's Cody Hall gets the catch and the touchdown to put Black on the board. Team Gold with the ball in the 23. Jordan Brand scrambles and launches downfield. Chris Howard makes a great play, grabs the interception, and Team Black has 52 seconds to go before the half. Can they score? Timmy Heron scrambles, launches downfield to Malik Joyner, who gives Team Black the momentum with this touchdown right here. We head into halftime with Team Gold leading 17 to 14. Let's head now to the fourth quarter. Black trail 17-14. Timmy Heron staying patient with the ball. Launches downfield right here, and look at this unbelievable catch by Greencastle's Nate Tesmer, giving the Black team their first lead all game. 21-17, Black with three minutes to go. The goal team marches down to the red zone. Look at this trick play. Brands flicks the ball to Cunningham, who finds Isaiah Thurman in the end zone for the game-winning touchdown. Team Gold takes this one, 24-21. Great win by Gold, great all-star game overall, and the players certainly enjoy their last time on the field. It's been great. It's been a great experience meeting a bunch of new guys, playing with them for the first time, and playing with them in my last football game here. It's a special thing, and I'm really excited and I'm having a lot of fun. It's cool to come out here and play with a bunch of guys I've always played against, and uh, you see how cool they really are. You know, you're out there playing against them, you don't like each other, but everybody's pretty cool and I'm having a great time. I think it's been easy for uh, most of us because we're all friends and just playing against each other all through the years. and. It makes it easier. It's an awesome experience. Uh, it's it's something that everybody in the Wabash Valley, all the football players, they want to be in, and it's a great way to end your high school career on.